other than doing only automations that are regarding to front end automation what are the mm-hmm. other automations have you developed except the desktop and web app automation uh no i have developed web to uh, web and one is with sql server one sql server sql server so what what activities have you used in that sql uh, server automation yeah so i have used that connect activity uh, connect mm-hmm. execute and then we need to copy that output of the sql server into the excel so okay. based on that we have used uh, windows authentication for connecting to the sql server so mm-hmm. configuration manager is there if you use those activity we need to fill those detail authentication username and all so once so, that so is it a microsoft sql server or any different yeah. no, no microsoft so what are the other database platforms you have used other than um, microsoft sql server no no i have not used you haven't used any thanks thank you so much so have you developed anything that are re- any projects that are related to office suite microsoft office yeah uh, without microsoft outlook not only with microsoft outlook maybe everyone will be using outlook because we need to send an email at the yeah. end of the process or something yes. but other than that have you automated anything that is related to word or anything that is related to excel uh, especially in the excel have you done any front end automation or using hotkeys uh, have you done that or with the powerpoint have you done anything with that no no i have used excel activities in my processes but not as a whole excel or microsoft office automation okay so uh, did you face any uh, issues while working with excel automation or is the data available ready for you and it's easy for you to pick up the data and you can work on your own or did you face any specific issues uh, no no i have not faced any specific issues with excel okay what is the data set that you currently worked on uh, let's say that you have an excel how many rows of data can it have uh, 10 15 so more than uh, 20000 have you worked any on no, such no, no, use cases no 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 okay so let's say uh, do you have any idea how to handle those uh, issues or not uh we can split that excel into as per the requirement then we can do the automation for that and if you so want when then, you when you mean by split what exactly you do you uh, mean? suppose there are 100 records we can split in and if it's not uh, suppose you are uh, writing data to the excel for 100 records and if okay. it's taking time or if it's getting hang then we can split those uh, excel into two parts 50 50 and then we can run the automation so how will you code for that yeah uh, for uh, we can read that excel to from first to 50 then 50 to 100 like that how will and you know after, that that is the last 50 <clears throat> uh we can give index as well index in the sense like call a last row name last row name how, okay how will you get the last row name see i all these questions are interlinked so mm-hmm. if you say one answer then uh, you may get some question from me so okay. say what is the last uh, row when what do you mean by the last row mm-hmm. or how do you find that it is the last row mm, no not sure okay uh, something can be like done like this see uh, when we are reading the data uh, when we are reading 50 at a, at a time mm-hmm. now when we are reading the first 50 we will get all the rows mm-hmm. now when we read the second 50 we may get only 40 rows mm-hmm. okay now uh, the 40 rows should be the last one until and unless we don't have any spaces in between or em- any empty rows in between mm-hmm. okay that can be one of the uh, way how we can extract and say that this is the last row okay mm-hmm. mm. no but uh, if last 40 how can you identify that then okay when you are reading 50 at a time let's uh-huh. say that you have given a index and when you are reading you are you are saying that a1 to b50 mm-hmm. now you have incremented and the next time you read from a b okay a51 to b100 mm-hmm. now when you read 
from A51 to B100. Now, how many rows do you need to get? Ideal, ideally, you should get 50, right? Yeah. Now, when you get, though it doesn't have the data, it will give you whatever the data that it has. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we have the last uh, data, which doesn't have any, or which doesn't have more than 50 or less than 50, then we can just say that, okay, this is the last 50 row and we can, we need not proceed further. Mm -hmm. Okay, am I clear? Yeah. Okay, thank you. 